children welcome to our digital school once again i'm back with a new english lesson so let's get started children our lesson's name is a tiger's whisker let's start reading first a young woman by the name of yun ok came one day to the cottage of a mountain hermit oh holy father she said I am in deep distress. If you do not help me, I am truly lost. Well, what is your problem? said the hermit. So, one day a woman was there. Her name was Yun Ok. She went to meet a mountain hermit. Now, hermit is a person who lives alone and leads a simple religious life. You can call him something similar to a pujari. so she she goes to him and she tells him that i am in a very big trouble i am in a very big distress i am feeling very unhappy and sad if you don't help me i will be lost i will be unhappy so the hermit is asking what is your problem oh father said the woman for the past 3 years my husband has been away fighting in the wars Now that he has returned he hardly ever speaks to me he used to love me dearly but now he is a changed man if i speak to him he doesn't seem to hear if ever he talks to me he speaks very roughly if the food is not to his liking he pushes it away and leaves the room angrily now the woman is telling about a problem that her husband has returned from the wars and now he never speaks he used to love me very much but now he is never loving and even if i try to speak he never listens to me and even if he is talking he speaks very roughly very harsh way and if the food is not liked by him he pushes away and he walks out of the room angrily Now the hermit is telling, dear, it does happen sometimes when young men come back home after the wars. Their hearts are full of bitterness. Please, father, give me some potion that will make my husband loving and gentle as he used to be. A potion for your husband," said the hermit. Well come back after 3 days and I will tell you what I shall need for such a potion. So after explaining a problem the hermit even after trying to explain her that because he has come back from the wars their hearts are filled with bitterness because they have only fought for all the years. But still she is insisting and asking the hermit to make some potion to make some magical medicine for her husband so that he will become loving and gentle as he used to be so the hermit thought for a while and he says that you come to me after 3 days and i will tell you what are the things needed to make a potion 3 days later you know came back to the hermit I have thought over your problem said the hermit to make the potion you want I'll need the whisker of a living tiger bring me a living tiger's whisker and I will make the potion you want the whisker of a living tiger said the woman in surprise how could it be possible for me to get such a thing you'll find it if you think the potion is really important said the hermit then he stood up and walked out of his cottage three days have passed and now you know has come to the hermit and the hermit tells her that i have thought a good solution and for making the potion all that i need is the whisker of a living tiger you know what is the whisker see Can you see these lines? Yes, these are the whisker. So, when the hermit asked to get a living whisker, the woman was in a very big surprise. 
He said, how will I get it? It is not possible. The hermit is telling, if you, if you think that the potion is very important, then you will surely get it. He stood up and he walked his way. Eunuch went back home. She thought a great deal about how she could get a tiger's whisker. Then one night, when her husband was asleep, she quietly crept from her house with a bowl of meat in her hand. She went to a place in the forest where a tiger was known to live. Standing far off from the tiger's cave, she held out the bowl of food towards the tiger. The tiger looked at it but did not move at all. Now, after listening to the advice given by the hermit, she was in trouble but she also started thinking how to get the tiger's whisk, whisker. And then at night she decided, when her husband was very much asleep, she quietly, slowly, she moved out of her house carefully with a bowl in which she had kept the meat. She went to the forest where the tiger was living. And she was standing very far from the tiger's cave. She kept the food in her hand and she was waiting for the tiger. The tiger looked at it but did not move at all. The next night, Eunuch went again. This time she came a little closer to the tiger's cave. Again, she held out a bowl of food but the beast didn't care. The beast here is no other than the tiger. Night after night, she would go to the mountain getting each time a few steps closer to the tiger's cave. One night, she walked almost to the mouth of the cave. This time, the tiger moved a few steps towards the woman. The two stood looking at each other in the moonlight. They were so close that Yuno could talk to the tiger in a soft and gentle voice. The tiger looked long into her eyes and then ate the food she bought for it. Days went by and every night same thing happened. Yunok went with a bowl of food. She took little little steps. One day she went little more closer, little more closer. And finally a night came when they both were very close. She reached the mouth of the cave and this tiger was keenly observing her. Now. One night what happened was, when she was so close at the mouth of the cave, she, in the moonlight, she spoke to the tiger in a gentle voice. She could have spoken that much close. She came to the tiger and on that day, the tiger ate the food bought for her. When Yunok came again the next night, she found the tiger waiting for her on the trail. Trail means on the path. After the tiger had eaten the food bought for it, Yunok caressed its head gently. Caressed means nothing, means you know just uh, moving the hands around the head of the tiger. This continued for many days. Then one night, caressing the tiger's head lovingly, Yunok said, Oh gentle tiger, I want one of your whiskers. Please don't be angry when I have it. And she snipped off one of the tiger's whiskers. The tiger was not angry at all. Snipped means cutting the cutting with scissors. So now the tiger was very used to Yunok. So now it started waiting for Yunok on her ways only on the path and Yunok also started loving the tiger. So, with gentle and with warm, what she did was she used to wave her hand above the head of the tiger. She used to just move the hands. And she kept a request before the tiger. She said, I need one of your whiskers. So, please don't be angry and I will have it. And she took a cut, a scissor, and she just cut off one of her whiskers and the tiger was not at all angry with her. Early next morning, she went running to the hermit's cottage and said, 
Holy Father, I have got what you needed for the potion. I have got the tiger's whisker. The hermit took the whisker and dropped it into the fire, burning in his cottage. Oh, sir, the young woman cried, what have you done? I had got it after so much effort. Tell me, have you got it? said the hermit. Now, Eunuch was very happy that she could get a tiger's whisker and she ran running to the hermit. And she said that, Hermit, whatever you ask, I have got it. You wanted a tiger's whis whisker and I have it. But the hermit took the whisker and dropped it in the burning fire. She was very upset and she cried that, What have you done? You have you have put all my struggles, all my efforts have gone in vain now. Now the hermit is asking, tell me, how did you get this whisker? Now, you know, is explaining the incidents. Every night, I went to the tiger living on the mountainside. I would take with me a bowl of food. But I was afraid and kept a good distance by the tiger. By and by, I overcame my fear and went a little closer. At last one night, the tiger ate the food I had bought for it. Then a time came when it could stand on the trail waiting for me. It would eat out of the bowl in my hand and then it was not difficult for me to have one of its whiskers. So you won the tiger's confidence through your love, said the hermit. Now Eunuch is telling the incidents that has happened. She tells that it was very difficult in the starting but days went by and I overcame my fear and I came so close to the tiger that it started waiting for me on the way and now whatever I took for it, it used to eat it now because the tiger trusted me and it has confidence in me, started loving me. It was not difficult for me to get the whisker from the tiger. So the hermit is telling, so you won the tiger's confidence through your love. Yes, but now all my effort has come to nothing, said you know very sadly. You have thrown the whisker in the fire. You have no need of a potion now. So the whisker was useless. You know. I ask you a question. Is a man more ferocious than a tiger? Ferocious means very violent and strong. If you can win the love and confidence of a wild beast, you can surely do the same with your husband. There can be none who can't be won through love. Now, when the hermit learns how Eunuch has overcome her fear and how she has taken her efforts and by her love she won the confidence of a tiger he tells her that this whisker is of no use now you don't even need a potion and he and he tells her that you have to answer one of my question that is a man more ferocious than a tiger you have to tell who is ferocious, who is very strong and who is very violent, a man or a tiger. If you can win a tiger, then you can surely win your husband also through your love. Now, hearing this, Eunuch was speechless. She got up, touched the hermit's feet and went back home. She always kept in her mind what the hermit had said. Now, Eunuch understood that to get the same love and same gentleness and love of her husband, I just need to take little more steps and make my husband love me back again in the same manner. And this was always in her mind and this lesson she has never ever forgotten. Yes, children, even in our life, there is nothing that we can win without love so if you love if you show your care and concern you can even win this world children i hope that you have understood the chapter very well do watch the video once again keep studying stay home and stay safe meet you soon in the next video